Merry Christmas my crafty friends. No, not really. But it is Christmas tag time. Yes, it is. Today is the 10th and um, Paige, um, who is Stamp Girl, and Peggy, who is JP Peggy too, they took this over from um, Myra, who did it last year, and um, so um, now you um, can make tapes. Anyone can do it, and but they need to be posted on the 10th of each month, and they also have the other two additional uh, challenges, which are Christmas cards the last day of the month, and the 15th is... It varies. Um, I think this time is any occasion. So, anyway, um, you can make as many tags as you want. Last year I made a lot. Uh, I think I made 20 every time. This time I decided to just stick with five or six. So, here we go. These are all uh, very similar. I used um, tags that were already cut in my stash. See, I'm using my stash up. I'm so excited. And I used um, some um, Greeting Farm um, characters, the boy and the girl, and colored them up with um, various markers, Copics, uh, Spectrum Noir, um, you know, just various markers that I had. And um, I'm not a great color person, but um, I think they turned out kind of cute. And again, they were cut up already and uh, in my stash. So... I am really trying hard to use stash up this year. So here is the first one. Isn't he cute? And for the white, I actually used a, um, it's, I can't remember who makes it, but it's a um, paint. Let me just check real quick here. Let me see if I can grab one. Oh, here they are. Painters, that's who it is. Painters makes these. And I have um, quite a, I have a large set of them. And um, so I just took the white and used it for um, the white parts. And it gave it quite a nice shine. So here's the little girl. And like I said, they're all pretty much the same except the background for the tag. And I think I did three of each. So... And then I just tied some red and white red and white ribbon on the inside. So I think they turned out really cute. I'm I'm really happy with them. And of course, you know, I still have to stamp the to and from on the backs of all my my tags. And um, but I like to do that all at once. So I'll do that at the near the closer to the end of uh, the year. But. Um, I wanted to show you how pathetic I am. So, you see this tub here? Well, when Peggy put out the list for the year, this is for the entire year of 2018, I thought to myself, you know, I like organization, and what better way to organize than to take these envelopes that were just laying around doing absolutely nothing, I wasn't going to use them as mailers, and create a month tag bag. Um, and so what I did was I created a month, and inside I placed all my, I don't have my Valentine ones in, in the January one, but I have, each one has the finished product. And then when um, I'm done, I will, um, you know, I just put them to the, put that one to the back because I'm working on February. So what I did was I went and got, I'm not going to show you what I got in there because this is a surprise, but um, I've got my cards cut out. I've got pretty much everything ready to go for my cards for the 15th and for Christmas for the last day of the month. So I'm very excited. I kind of went through and decided what kind of card shape I wanted to do. And um, they always give me an extra little something something, like this time um, for the um, any purpose, um, the extra would be using ribbon or lace. And for Christmas, it's going to be handmade embellishments. So um, for the tags, it's just pretty much however you want to do them. But 
I had to show you just how crazy I am. I'm such an, I, I just love organization and this has made it so, so, so nice for me because then I know what I um, am going to do each month. You know, I have the, the card bases all cut and ready to go for the whole year. I have the tags all cut and ready to go for the whole year. So anyway, I'm just crazy. But um, thanks everybody for watching, and um, if you would like to join in, please do. Uh, the more the merrier. Thanks everybody. Have a great day. Bye.